Sickle cell population thinks has some specific and somewhat unique challenges that are associated with the, the pandemic above and beyond what I think everyone is facing uh, currently. Uh, it's well described that uh, the um, disease of the COVID infection is disproportionately affecting uh, minority populations, uh, Blacks, Hispanics, and so that's creating a lot of concern about those particular vulnerable populations, which is exacerbated by their baseline poor access to healthcare in general compared to the general population. So that's clearly contributing to some of the worst outcomes we're seeing. In, in sickle cell disease, one of the mainstays of the way that patients are frequently managed is by transfusions. And there is well-documented shortages of blood throughout the country, in part because people in general are not coming to healthcare facilities as often as they are, and the number of people donating blood has gone down. And sickle cell patients, because of their frequent requirement for transfusions, need a special type of blood that's been cleared for uh, the ability to be transfused um, into them. And uh, there's often a need for black donors to actually participate in the donation process, and that has also come down. Uh, and then you exacerbate that by the fact that uh, because of the uh, depressed immune system, there's a concern that sickle cell patients may be uniquely vulnerable to uh, catching the infection and have worse sequelae, and so they're not seeing their doctors as often as they have been in the past. I think the, the silver lining here, if you will, is that there's more comfort now with telemedicine, and increasingly the physicians that we speak to and the patient advocacy groups that we interact with are telling us that there's been a movement towards these virtual interactions between physicians and, and their patients, and that has definitely created uh, some buffering of the fact that many patients are no longer able to access their healthcare providers in the way they normally would.